How's it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for Tequila Tuesday. I haven't done a tequila in quite some time, probably three, four months, so figured give one a review. Um, I got this tequila right here about two months ago, been sipping on it, making margaritas, stuff like that, cocktails, and I've uh, been really enjoying it. This is uh, Chinacos Blanco. It's coming in at 80 proof, 40% alcohol by volume. Um, history behind this one, uh, Chinacos were kind of like warrior defenders um, of Mexico during the uh, French, Re uh, French insurrection and uh, one of the Reformation Wars, I believe. And yeah, they uh, defended Mexico and this is in honor of that. Um, this is handcrafted in the state of Tamaulipas, uh, Mexico, which is the northeastern uh, part of Mexico, the northeastern state, right under the state of Texas, uh, Estados Unidos. Um, this is lot number. I'll let you read that. And um, yeah. Chinaco is one of the very few tequilas made outside of Jalisco and was the first made in the state of Tamaulipas. Uh, this distinct regionality, handcrafted approach, and adherence to family tradition gives Chinaco its distinct character and flavor since its founding in 1973. Tequilera La Gonzalina has been producing Chinaco in small batches, revolutionizing tequila culture at, as the first 100% agave ultra premium tequila in the United States. Chinaco's fiery spirit recalls its warrior heritage and the family's continued de de dedication to craftsmanship results in a truly unique tequila. So yeah. Really liking the bottling on this, as you can see, I've drank most of it so far. Um, I've been sit letting some of it sit in the glass about 10 minutes or so, just to let it uh, aerate. As you can see, crystal clear spirit, uh, really nice looking tequila. There might be a little like yellow tinge to it, but um, pretty much just a crystal clear Blanco. So, let's get an aroma. Hmm. <sighs> really mild floral, uh, cooked agave peppery notes, and the slight smokiness to it. Uh, has like a distance, distant like smokiness reminiscent of a, a mezcal there's some fruitiness in there um i want to say like sapote mame um any of the like uh like uh papaya more meaty fruits you get out there in central america like a sapote negra as well. Yeah, like these deep date kind of notes. I want to say dates, raisins, but also a bright floral, like, um, yeah, flower garden, uh, lightly tropical, like uh, uh, almost like a roasted pineapple kind of thing. Lots of black pepper. It's got a spicy kick to the nose. Um, it smells really nice. This is my first Tamaulipas uh, tequila. I have reviewed a mezcal from the state of Tam Tamaulipas, but um, uh, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, check out that review. I think I did it like three months ago-ish. Um, really like that mezcal, but um, yeah, my first tequila from the state. Um, let's try it out. Salute. Ooh. Excuse the 
house fly flying around the place. Really cool flavors to it. <clears throat> Definitely different than most of the uh, Jalisco tequilas I've had with the state where tequila is usually uh, made, Jalisco, Mexico, uh, central western Mexico, uh, right on the uh, sea of Cortez there, pretty sure. Um, but it's got like a different vibe to it. It's more like lots of Haliskan tequilas. I get like a summery, uh, like summery, like a uh, citrusy kind of thing going. This is more of like a, like a, right in the beginning of winter that kind of like baking spice um this dried fruit uh preserves uh maybe a slight jamminess like yeah like dried apricot i want to say like yeah dates maybe prunes stuff like that uh it's really unique Okay, very interesting note coming through. This almost like cognac or grappa kind of thing, like a lightly aged cognac, that grape distillate, almost like pisco, something like that. Wow, that, I was not expecting that. I've never got that from this before. But yeah, grape distillate, like lightly, lightly aged grape distillate. It's got like, yeah, bright green grape, uh, white wine kind of quality, um, almost like a Sauvignon Blanc, something like that. That is really, I was not expecting that. I've never got that before from this. This would be phenomenal in like uh, half this, half uh, Pisco. Make a sidecar cocktail, but instead of uh, brandy, whatever you're using in it, uh, use uh, half this, half Pisco. I think that'd be really cool. Um, have a really complex uh, cocktail with that. But this is really unique tequila. Yeah, it's starting to really develop. Um, very unique. Yeah, big grape vineyard, vineyard kind of notes, like white wine, um, like a semi-sweet white wine. This is unique. This is really unique. Uh, I think you could make some really cool uh, tropical cocktails out of this. Um, maybe some fresh squeezed grape juice, uh, some sort of like uh, sherry, uh, some orgeat, and then some lime juice, shake it up. Might be a really cool cocktail. Uh, yeah, this is a really cool tequila. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think I'll make a, a nice cocktail out of this or something. This is really cool. Chinaco Blanco. Um, I've had it straight a couple times, but uh, I don't remember it being quite as complex. Granted, I let this one sit for a while. And uh, I think that if you're drinking it straight, you should really be letting this one sit. Um, the flavors are really popping up. Um, the alcohol burn is also not as intense as I remember it being. Um, it's just heating up a little bit here, maybe a bit on the tongue. 
40%, uh, I think it's got the perfect amount of alcohol heat for that. Yeah, I think um, brandy, cognac, Pisco lovers would really dig this tequila. Um, this is pleasant surprise. Uh, I'm starting to pick up like raw cinnamon aromas or flavors, as well as uh, like a slight dark chocolate as well. Yeah, very wintry kind of tequila. This might be good in like any sort of like a hot toddy or a uh, Mexican coffee. Uh, I think that's what you call it, like the um, hot coffee, dust of cinnamon, shot of tequila, like that. Um, this in a hot chocolate, that'd be phenomenal. That'd be really good. Yeah, any sort of winter cocktail or an old fashioned, there we go. This and uh, maybe some sort of like bourbon, half bourbon, half this. Make an old fashioned out of that. Maybe some mole bitters in that. Lots of possibilities with this tequila. Um, yeah, 100% puro agave, chinaco blanco. As a rating on this guy, um, my first Tamaulipas. Me uh, let's go. Uh, tequila, so I don't know how many tequilas are made there, but uh, my first one's a good one. So I'll have to see if there's any more available. Um, might have to go out to Tamaulipas sometime. I wouldn't mind going to Tampico uh, on the border of Veracruz and Tamaulipas. A uh, beautiful city and I've heard really good stuff so want to check that out sometime but um, yeah search out some neat mezcaleros and tequila tequilas so yeah uh, ratings wise I go like 9 or 90 86 right around there 85 86 this is good um, I don't know if it's um, additive free at all but um, uh, there's still some, in my opinion, some tequilas that do add certain things that are still good. I mean, uh, I don't know if this one is or not, so don't ask me, but this is, I'm liking this. So, there we go. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, B plus rating, 86 for me. Let me know what y'all think of Chinacos Blanco or any of their other tequilas. I might have to get the uh, Repasado and Añejo. Give them reviews because they're actually really well priced. Um, I think 45 Canadian, which is like 30, 35 American uh, for the Blanco. Repasado is like eight bucks more and Añejo is like 10, 15 bucks more. So I might have to get those in the future. But yeah, very, very pleasantly surprised by this uh, tequila. I didn't really know what to expect uh, when buying it. Um, first couple times I tried it straight. Wasn't the biggest fan, but it's really developed into something beautiful, uh, especially with letting it sit. So there we go. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Till the next time, salute.